these are the best scenes from this chest-bursting series. Ah! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Alien franchise movie moments. Let's just bug out and call it even, okay? What are we talking about this for? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. For this list, we're looking at the most exciting or scariest scenes from the movie spanning the first Alien to Alien Resurrection. As we're only looking at the main movies, we are excluding Prometheus and any of the vs. Predator movies. Number 10, The Underwater Chase, Alien Resurrection. We have to go through the kitchen, maybe 90 feet, to the freight elevator on the other side. While the aliens are already pretty terrifying when they're walking, they're somehow even scarier underwater, as this intense scene proves. You ready to get wet, partner? Yeah. During their escape, Ripley and crew discover the mess hall. Their only route out has been completely submerged in water and begin to swim across. Unfortunately, aliens follow in what is perhaps the movie's most famous and easily creepiest scene. The idea of swimming aliens is freaky enough, but being in the position of having to hold your breath while being chased by incoming monsters is quite the harrowing situation indeed. Number 9. Ripley's Death, Alien 3. I need you to help me. I need you to kill me. In this shocking ending to the original trilogy, Ripley goes out in a blaze of glory, overly obvious Christ symbolism and all. The company sent me here to show you a friendly face, to demonstrate how important you are to us. When Ripley discovers that she has an alien growing inside of her, and that the company wants to study it, she sacrifices herself and falls into molten metal. <laughs> the music during this scene is swelling, and complements the drama perfectly. The dark cinematography is also outstanding, and the content look on Ripley's face proves a fitting, noble end for the legendary heroine. At least until the next movie. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Number eight, Brett's death, the first look, Alien. Wait, don't let him go! What the hell are you doing, man? The scene that introduced the world to the grown alien creature, Brett's death is a true milestone in cinematic history. Kitty, 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 kitty. After calling for Jonesy, the cat, Brett finds him hiding in a corner, but also discovers more than he bargained for. The swiftness and quiet deliberation of the alien is terrifying as it drops down behind Brett, and the snarling mouth is an unforgettable introduction to the monster that everyone fears. The sound effects, cinematography, and lack of detail regarding the alien all combine to create a scary scene that plays with everyone's imaginations. Number 7, Dallas in the Air Shaft, Alien. Playing on many different types of fears all at once, this scene is classic due to its sheer intensity. After Dallas volunteers to go into the air shaft, Lambert watches him on a motion tracker, only to realize that the alien is in there with him. Dallas, you're gonna have to hold your position for a minute. I I've lost the signal. The air shaft itself is a tight space and pitch black, which plays on the viewer's claustrophobia and fear of the dark. The dread of knowing the alien is stalking Dallas is increased by Veronica Cartwright's amazingly desperate performance. Oh god, it's moving right towards you! Uh. And of course, it's capped off by one terrifying jump scare that gets us every time. Number six. Oh, there they are. Aliens. It's inside the complex. Oh, you're just reading me. No, no, it ain't you. No other moment in this movie blends action and horror so perfectly. They're in here. After seeing motion on the tracker, Ripley and her group await the onslaught of aliens until Hicks opens the ceiling and discovers a swarm about to attack. The 
wait for the creatures is unbearably tense, and the scare of seeing the mass of aliens will make anyone shiver. The gunfight that follows is loud, explosive, and a lot of fun to watch. Number 5. First Encounter with the Aliens, Aliens. I'm not making that out too well. What is it, Hudson? You tell me, man. I only work here. This scene let audiences know that the movie wasn't pulling any punches, and that it would place an emphasis on action as well as horror. When the Marines discover the alien hive, viewers are treated to a terrifically terrifying scene when aliens suddenly drop from above and pick off the crew. James Cameron made a great decision not to show the actual combat, but instead let our imaginations take over, allowing us to fill in the blanks amid the constant yelling and chaotic camera work. And really, what's scarier than that? Number 4. Discovering the Alien Queen – Aliens 14 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. This scene is one of James Cameron's finest, remaining exciting and visceral to this day. When Ripley decides to rescue Newt, she rides the elevator down into the Alien Queen's lair. The audience is treated to a masterclass in suspense as she looks around in fear, alarms blaring all around her. The Queen itself still looks fantastic 30 years later due to the power of practical effects. And Ripley burning the eggs is an unforgettable moment in the Alien canon. It's got horror, action, and fantastic visual work all in one. Number 3. Ash is an android. Alien. <laughs> While Ian Holm portrayed the robotic Ash perfectly with his deadpan expressions and humorless personality, it's still a surprise when Parker knocks his head off and we discover that he is an android. <laughs> While his spastic freakout is certainly an indication that something isn't right, the reveal is an iconic moment that no one saw coming. It's a robot! Ash is a goddamn robot! The scene afterwards with his talking head is fantastically created with milk and pasta, and it still looks disgusting today, highlighting the true mastery of the effects team. What was your special order? He read it. I thought it was clear. What was it? Bring back life form. Priority one. Number two, get away from her, you bitch! Aliens. One of the most quoted lines from any of the Alien movies. This scene ended the second film with a terrific action sequence and showed Ripley's bravery and motherly instincts in full focus. After the alien rips Bishop in half and is about to kill Newt, Ripley walks out in a full mech suit and utters the famous line. Get away from her, you bitch! Everything, including the context, the cinematography, the acting, and the slow reveal comes together perfectly to form one of the most memorable scenes in action movie history. Before we look at our most memorable alien moment, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, nominal to profile. We're in the pipe, five by five. I'm sorry, Newt. You don't have to be sorry. It wasn't your fault. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Number one, the chestburster, Alien. What's it got down his throat? I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. What else could we pick besides this terrifying scene that continues to scare audiences decades later? After Kane's face hugger is removed, we think all is well. That is, until he starts choking and an alien bursts out of his chest. <laughs> the sound effect of the alien is chilling while the acting and visual effects are all outstanding. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
Veronica Cartwright is even legitimately scared on screen when the fake blood shoots at her face, as she had not been warned ahead of time. It's not only the most memorable scene of the franchise, but one of the most iconic moments in all of cinema. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Fucking A. What moment from the Alien franchise is your favorite? <laughs> For more terrifying top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah! Yeah!